So here for another uh, opening, maybe call it a mini review of some of the new Mythic Legions figures that arrived last week. Uh, so this package came in on Thursday. I've not had a chance to really open any of it. Well, actually, I haven't had a chance to open any of it. Uh, I wanted to get it done, share it with you. Uh, so I'm going to open at least one right now. I am outside again because, hey, it's nice here. So why not? Hopefully the guinea hens will cooperate. It won't be too loud. Uh, we're down to three now. We had four, but <laughs> something got one of them. Um, and, you know, if you hear any buzzing around, well, we just we just uh, put new bees into our four hives this uh, this afternoon. So we might get some little visitors. But uh, I ripped off that. But let's see what we got here, and we'll pick which one we're going to open. So let's see. Well, I already know what I got. Let's show you what I got. So we got... Again, <clears throat> I've never been able to go all in, so, you know, money. <laughs> but I uh, got these three, and I, I definitely wanted more. I wanted the winged guy. I forget his name right now, but I got these three. So we will start, I'm thinking with this guy, because he is just super cool. Uh, oh, yeah, and you know who's down there. We're going to open him uh, later. I'm going to try and get videos of all three of these this week for you. Uh, these videos seem pretty popular. I probably should have uh, put something on the other side of that table. Figured I'd actually use a table this time. Uh, what's, he, what's over there? What's he looking at over there? Hmm, just more trees. So, uh, yeah, so we have Vorthog. And I'll give you a little read right there. Powerful and grizzled warrior. What's what's the old saying? Be, beware, of a, beware of a warrior with a gray beard because... They've been around for a while. Overall, I mean, I like the, uh, by the way, I, I have to say I like the new uh, picture on the back for this wave. I mean, that is, that is some awesome art. I mean, that, that is just a, a super badass character. I can't wait to open him. Uh, I'm seeing now the packaging for him and his horse, and oh, it's so awesome. I wish I'd be able to get it, but again, you know, budgets and stuff. So let's uh, crack this guy open. Let's uh, see what we get. So for those, I'll go through everything that we get with him. Um, some of you might be aware, some of you may not, but I mean, that's part of the fun of doing the reviews or the openings. And again, I don't, I don't go super in-depth. So I, I love these shoulder pauldrons. They are just awesome. I mean, look at that, those spikes. <laughs> Badass. And I don't usually put two pauldrons on my guys uh, for whatever reason. I mean, it, it depends. Oh, wow, they actually put this on there already. Huh. Normally that comes and you got to put it on, and I'm always worried I'm going to snap it. But, yeah, it comes with a shield. Let's throw that in the box over there. Oh, so yeah. Ooh, sun's coming out. I thought it was we were going to get rained on, but the sun's coming out, and I'm going to cook instead. Okay, the other shoulder pauldron. Hammer. I mean, this this hammer is super cool. And I've got a, a few characters, of course, and the belt. Could have a belt. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. See, I did not realize this. He comes with extra feet, so he has. He's he's barefoot. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's cool. That is very cool. I knew he came with an extra head. And it is a cool head. Uh, but I still, I, I like the uh, the less generic head that comes with him. It makes, yes, yes. Now I wish I'd bought two. Um, that's the way the game is. But again, budgets and money. If they have it in stock sale this week, maybe I'll get it. And I did not realize he came with extra hands. Okay, so he comes with... We can get a good shot of these hands here. It comes with his closed hands, whereas it looks like in the box his others are open. So this is so he can hold stuff. The other one's so he can look, I don't know, pretty cool. And of course you have your your adapters for his back for holding wings, for wings and shields and stuff. Okay. So let's uh let's get to the meat and potatoes of this guy. That's that's everything he's got. Can you all see it there? Oh, 
Looks like he comes with, oh, a little loincloth. I did not realize that. Okay, so usually I end up looking online to see what the picture looks like. Oh, we got a little honeybee coming out to check out our, our opening as well. Uh, we get like a billion bees back here right now, but yeah, that's the green. Just I love the green. I I, I have to say I, I love this green that they use on the orcs. Uh, being an outdoorsy kind of person, uh, doing a lot of stuff outdoors, it, it it's very very it's it's very natural green. I guess I would say would be the best way to put it. So I I really like it. More of the uh, twist ties you never have too many twist ties reuse those for some project later oh look the elastics i was talking about last time nice it's like uh the old he-man figures used to have the uh classics Get that out of there. <coughs> let's check this guy out let's get him out of here okay let's throw that in a box over here that <coughs> Actually, I should have popped out his sword. Now, I, I like this sword. It reminds me of... Uh, it reminds me of a few different swords. Uh, what's the... So, it reminds me... It's very reminiscent of a sword from Zelda. You know, it looks... It just reminds me of the Master Sword. It also reminds me... Oh, uh, what's this video game of? Oh, Dead Cells. If you play Dead Cells, the heavy, the heavy sword. I mean, it, it's cool... Uh, it'd be nice to have a little bit more detail, but overall, it's, it's a good sword. And again, you have to, you have to think also, how much detail do real swords have? You know, old world, old world, right? Might have some different colors here or there, but, okay, so we've got, all right, so these hands, yeah, they're a little more, a little more open. I like the bare feet, I think. I'm thinking the bare feet are going to stay just because it really differentiates him from other pieces that I already have, right? I'm going all the way back to, you know, 1.0. Again, I've never done an all-in on any of these sets, though that the new one they dropped last week, I think I might have to do an all-in because the price point is just, I mean, it's great. It's a great price point, but let's let's check him out. So, got his head, obviously, his head turns, right? You know, typical ball joint there, right? Uh... Looks a little grabby here, his hand. Claw-like, okay, he's got the standard wrist gauntlet. The shin guards, okay, yeah, everybody's... And that's another reason I think I'm gonna stick with the feet. You know, I've, I'm... These are cool, but yeah, I've had enough of those. <laughs> We're gonna stick with those feet right there. I would say, now I'm sure he'll stand just fine, but one thing you might not be able to tell from the video is this is sloping a little bit. Let's see if I can, there we go. We'll uh, kind of do that. See if I can hold the table there. No, I can't hold the table. But you know, this is standard articulation, right? So he's got all his articulation. You got, you know, no cracks or anything like that. Everybody, I always feel weird looking up their crotch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's, so let's, let's look at the detail on his belt. I mean, look at that. The the buckles and everything, all the little rivets, the buckles. I mean, <clears throat> that's just awesome. And that I mean, that's what makes this line so great. You get great detailing um, for the price point you're getting. I mean, you get the like what looks like it's supposed to be like copper rivets, you know, holding his armor together. You get the the leather bands holding his armor together with again the the snaps or the rivets and. I mean, the, the detail is amazing, what you get, and all the accessories that you get for the price point. It just makes these figures awesome. That's one thing I love about them. Uh, I tend to be a huge nostalgia collector, right? So for me, when I see, like, Transformers or Masters of the Universe being an 80s kid, it's like, yeah, that's that's what I... These, these have none of that for me. They're just so cool. I got into them because of Masters of the Universe. I got into them for the skeletons and stayed for the everything else. <laughs> uh but yeah, I mean, you you can't beat this. I mean, the, the what's supposed to look like chainmail there, you know, a coppery, rusty chainmail. Just awesome. And that's you know that new uh, wave they announced last weekend, 
where they're gonna have a little less detail but I mean you know 26 bucks a pop I mean you could go in and and there's still an awesome amount of detail on them but you could go in with a little paintbrush and just like yeah I want some rivets okay great that how hard is that gonna be but I mean I, I like this guy's face I mean as soon as I saw this guy I said okay I have to have him oh uh, what else that, that, again the detail just blows me away on these let's uh let's get him set up oh i mean look at this even on the pauldrons i just it does show up on the camera so you, know, you get the the silver little rivets holding this on oh you get the little coppery piece with again a silver rivet holding it on so i mean yeah you, you can't beat that oh uh, do i need let's see do i want to put his belt on I mean, there's a couple different ways to do the belt i always end up going kind of over the head Try not to break his ear off. That'd be bad. Oh, now his ear is going to stick out. I mean, do I want to do his belt like this? So often I'll put it like this so they can wear their sword over their back, you know, ninja style. Sometimes I put it there, but I, I don't see this being... Eh, I guess it would be a cool sword to have across his back, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just a badass looking sword is what it is. Let's get that out of there for right now. And let's put his pauldrons on. Again, traditionally, I'll usually do one pauldron on my figures. But this, I don't know, this, this pauldron, I think we're going to need both of them on there. Where'd the other one go? Here we go. You know what? I think the belt across like that, I don't know if that's going to work for me. Just because... Eh, I mean, it could work. Right? And the question is, okay, does he carry the hammer? Right? Which is very badass. But these, this hand... I get the feeling that these particular hands are not going to hold much of anything really well, right? They look cool, but I don't see them really gripping anything very well. They might, let's, let's see how they grip this shield here. Okay, shield works. And again, look at the detail on the shield, right? You get the red, you get the copper, you get the wash. And just all around a badass orc figure. Yes, I said ass, man. Let's get that going here. But, ah, whatever. I'll deal with that later. But really, uh, you know, I don't like these videos to be too, too long. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on them. I want to give you a quick review, opening and a review. Overall, I'm very happy with this guy. Oh, I got his, uh, I got this. I'm going to have to look to see where this, where this goes on him. I'm going to look at the pictures online because I don't remember where this goes on him. But, I mean, honestly, he doesn't need it. It's spring here in, uh, the Granite State, so he doesn't really need it. But winter is coming. All right. Yeah, overall, great figure. Yeah, those feet are staying. I mean, he's an orc. And he's an old orc. He's been around for... Not an orc. Did I say orc? Yeah, orc. Um, he's been around for a while. So he's going to kick some butt. Oh, Legion... Okay, that's his affiliation. Missed that earlier. Here he is thing. I didn't finish reading his thing on this side. Powerful and grizzled warlord. Charged with training the Legion of Erethir's warriors. Orthog is responsible for forging some of the Legion's greatest fighters. Orthog's knowledge of and experience in battle runs so deep that he was singularly responsible for the meteoric rise of Urzok, who rose from the ranks of the nameless to Gorgo Atherblade's right hand. Although he serves the Legion, Vorthog's true allegiance lies with Queen Urxa and Separatists. Sorry, should have it on there. But yeah, great, great figure. I'm excited for him. Again, I'm, I'm starting with uh, this one, and then I'm going to work my way up from... 
uh, the one you know, least liked to most liked. And it, it's, it's a very, we're talking very minute, uh, levels of grading there because I, and this guy's awesome. That's really all there is to it. The other two are looking great. So, uh, next up I'll have him hopefully maybe tomorrow. Next up will be this bad boy and he is sick, super sick. And I, I'm, I want to see what he comes with. Super awesome. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll try and throw some shots up of him. Awesome figure. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a great day.